Hey crafters, welcome back to Vinyl Diva Crafts. I'm Nikki, and today we're gonna be working on a project that will be part of my new wedding series of videos. And basically in this series, we'll just be looking at all of the projects that I'm working on leading up to my upcoming wedding. So today's project is a memorial charm for my bridal bouquet. And this is just going to hold three photos of loved ones who have passed away. I just bought this on Amazon, so I'll be sure to link it below in case you're interested in purchasing it for yourself. Basically all it is is three metal photo bezels, and then it's got a really cute little charm up at the top that says, you are in my heart. And this basically came as like a kit. So included in the kit were the three glass pieces that we can use to seal in the pictures that we'll be using and it just adds a really nice polished look to the final piece. And they've also provided some really nice satin ribbon so that we can attach the charm to the bouquet. So with that being said, let's get started. To start with, I went ahead and printed off the pictures that I'll be using. And these are just my two grandfathers who passed away, as well as my golden retriever, Frankie, who unfortunately passed away a couple of weeks ago. I was just really inspired to find some way to include these really important members of my family into my wedding day. And I think this is so nice to be able to have them with me as I walk down the aisle. And all I did was just drag and drop the images into pages on my laptop and size them down to the appropriate height to fit into the bezels. And then the next step is just to cut them out to fit the shape of the bezel. So I'm just gonna use one of the glass pieces as a reference. I'll just stick it on top of the photo and we can trace around it to ensure that we get the right shape. So you don't need any fancy tools here. I'm just going to go ahead and grab a pen and my scissors. And we'll go ahead and just trace around the photo. And I'm making sure that I get a good dark line so that I know exactly where I'll need to cut. And if you find that your picture has um, a little bit of white space in it, don't worry too much about that because this is really just to get the accurate shape. We're gonna be trimming this down just a hair because we will be sealing the glass pieces on using UV resin. And anytime you work with UV resin and paper, you wanna make sure that you laminate your paper really well and allow a little bit of a border of that plastic lamination just to ensure that none of the UV resin leaks into the paper because it can kind of cause the ink to bleed and just make your project look not so nice. So we'll be trimming these down just a hair after we get them cut out into the oval shape. And now that they're all traced out, we can go in with our scissors and trim out the desired shape. So I just like to kind of separate the, the images so that they're a little bit easier to manage. And as I'm trimming these out, I'm definitely already getting all the feels. <laughs> um, I tried to pick pictures that really meant something to me or that brought back a good memory of my loved ones. And this one of my golden Frankie was actually taken after a nice winter hike in the upper peninsula of Michigan. And he was just such a young, healthy dog then. Um, and not featured in this version of this picture is a snowman that Frankie just thought was really entertaining. And um, he just loved to be in the snow. So it brings back a really happy memory with him. And then this one is a photo of my dad's father. And this was taken during the celebration following my college graduation. And I remember my grandfather just being so proud that night 
and we just had a, a really great dinner after the ceremony and everyone was happy and just really enjoying themselves. Um, so I just, I really loved this photo of my, my grandfather. And he was such a character. He could tell amazing stories and always told the funniest jokes. I can say with absolute certainty that my both of my grandfathers were the funniest men I think I've ever met in my life. So um, just a really nice way to to keep their memory alive. And then this is a photo of my mom's father. He was actually born in Cuba, as was my mom, and I remember finding his stories to be absolutely fascinating. He just would talk about all the people that he knew and his job at the bank there. Um, really, really rich, colorful stories. He inspired me to go into writing when I was in college and tell my story. So I, I owe a lot to him as well. And now that we have all three of our photos cut out, I'm going to take these off camera because you can see they're still a little too big to allow enough room for that border that I was talking about. So I'll just take them off camera and trim them down a little bit more so that we can laminate them. Okay, now that the photos are trimmed down to the appropriate shape and size, we can start to laminate them. And I bought this laminator a few years ago at Costco. It came with two different size laminate sheets. So I'll be using this like four by six size. It also came with an eight and a half by 11. So you could laminate a full size sheet of paper if you need to. But this will be good for what we're working with today because it's so small. So I'm going to place each of the photos into the laminate sheet and these kind of open like a folder it's got a seam on one side so you want to make sure that you've got your photos spaced out enough so that when the laminate sheet feeds through there's enough space to ensure a good seal around the edges of all of the photos and that we'll have enough of enough space for that border and now I'm getting the green light indicator on the laminating machine so we can go ahead and feed this through. And when you feed the laminate sheet through, you're going to feed it through seam side first. And this machine is actually self feeding. So once you get it started, it basically just feeds itself through. The nice thing about this machine as well is it's so easy to use and it's really quick. So when the laminate comes out the other side, it's actually cool enough to touch. It's still a little warm, but um, you, can, you can grab it with your fingers and not burn yourself. And there we have it. Our three beautifully laminated pictures that are ready to be cut out and placed into the bezels. So once again, I'm going to go in with my scissors and separate these out. And once they're all trimmed out, I will meet you back here so that we can get to gluing them into place. Now we are ready to glue these into place. And what I like to do anytime I'm working with a shiny surface like this is just go in with a regular like nail file and lightly etch that surface. This just kind of roughs up the material and kind of creates like little fibers that your glue and the photographs will be able to stick to. And it's not a big deal, but I just, I kind of like this because I want to make sure that those photos aren't moving around once I place them because the UV resin is kind of a, a slippery material on its own. So if you don't get the photos stuck down really well, 
you could end up having slippage all over the place. So I'm just using a little bit of nail glue, but it's basically like a super glue. You can use any adhesive of your choosing. And I'm spreading this around so that we can get as much on the surface as possible. And then I lightly press down on the pictures for just a few seconds to make sure that they're stuck in place. And this is looking really nice already, like even without the glass pieces, I'm really, really pleased with how this is coming along. Get our last one in here. And then we can come in with the UV resin to attach the glass to our charms. Now this is the UV resin that I'll be using and I bought this at Hobby Lobby because I do quite a bit of resin crafting I bought the large size bottle. They do sell a smaller bottle so if you don't craft with resin very often the small bottle will be just fine for this project and you'll want to pour just a little dollop of the resin onto your bezel and I'm going to use one of these little like silicone spatulas to spread it around to the edges. These were also from Hobby Lobby. I highly recommend going over to their like hobby craft section, you know, where like all of the model cars and everything are because they have some really nice like tools for kind of these smaller projects. They've got like mini files that you can buy, um, these little mini spatulas, they come in handy for so many things. So I definitely recommend going over there and checking out some of the tools that they have available. And again, I'll try to link all of these um, items below so that you can find them for yourself as well. And once I have the resin kind of spread out to the edges of the bezel. We can come in with one of our glass pieces and you just want to kind of you know rub these off with your fingers make sure there's no dust or debris on there and then we can pop it right on top. Then we'll bring in the UV lamp to cure the resin and this will just harden everything up so that the glass is permanently adhered in place. And you don't need a UV light this big. I was a nail tech in my, my previous life, so um, <clears throat> I have a big lamp for manicures, but a small torch is fine. Uh, they sell smaller UV lights, whatever you can find that's affordable. I would definitely go with that. I'm just going to continue the process for the other two charms and then we can see what the final piece looks like.
And here is the completed memorial charm for my bridal bouquet. I am thrilled with how this turned out. It's absolutely stunning in person, and I cannot wait to incorporate this into my wedding day. Um, it's just such a nice way to memorialize the members of my family who can't attend in body, but will be there in spirit. So um, if you guys liked this, please feel free to give it a thumbs up. I always appreciate you checking out my channel. If you like what you see, feel free to subscribe. And I would love to hear your comments on this project below. Let me know if you try it. Um, I think it's just absolutely gorgeous and pretty easy to do. Thanks so much. See you soon.